this horrific accident in Santee. It's still under investigation. The surveillance cameras captured video of the moment the two vehicles collided. Yeah, it's tough to watch here. The impact so severe, one car was ripped apart. And CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joining us from the scene now at Prospect and Magnolia. Since early this morning, investigators have been out there. What's the latest, Kelly? That's right. You know, when that crash happened uh, just down the street from here, uh, about a block from where I'm standing right now here on Magnolia. Now, one guy actually had to be rescued by firefighters from his car. Uh, the collision, as you mentioned, was caught on a surveillance camera from a nearby business. Take a look. Uh, you can see the moment the two vehicles collided at Prospect and Magnolia around 6 a.m. Uh, we're told the driver of the car appears to have run a red light and the truck just plowed right into him, hitting the car so hard it actually uh, spins around. So we'll show you that video again and slow it down just a bit. You can see the light is red. The car starts moving into the intersection and the truck slams into it. Uh, take a look at the aftermath, though. The car ended up destroyed, uh, just ripped into pieces. Uh, the windshield torn apart. The engine uh, actually ended up on the ground. You can imagine the kind of impact there was when the two vehicles collided that the car ended up like this. So the driver of the vehicle had to be carefully removed. It took about 30 minutes or so for firefighters to safely get him out. His injuries apparently were so serious he had to be airlifted to the hospital the helicopter landed on the street uh, and that man was airlifted to a nearby trauma center the driver of the truck was hurt too uh, he was transported by ambulance so clearly this was a serious crash and certainly uh, the surveillance video will be a key piece of evidence during the investigation so we're still waiting to find out the conditions of the two people uh, who were taken to the hospital Right now, as I mentioned, it does sound like uh, one gentleman is in serious condition. Uh, not sure if drugs or alcohol are involved in any of this. So we have reached out to the uh, San Diego County Sheriff's Department and we're still waiting to hear back. Kelly Hassett, CBS 8.